Senator Rudy Giuliani, who are pushing election fraud conspiracies, to John Eastman, who wrote the now infamous memo on how to actually execute the coup. Well, today we are learning new details about the involvement of the ex-president's own son. We already knew that Don Jr. texted his father's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, while the insurrection was happening, pleading with him to stop it. Quote, he's got to condemn this ASAP. The Capitol Police tweet is not enough, and we need an Oval Office address. He has to lead now. It has gone too far and gotten out of hand. We are learning, though, that Don Jr. was texting Mark Meadows, quote, ideas for overturning the 2020 election before it was even called, according to CNN. The message is from November 5th, just two days after the election, and it is among the texts Meadows turned over to the January 6th committee. In it, Trump Jr. lays out ideas for keeping his father in power by subverting the electoral college process, writing, quote, it's very simple. We have multiple paths. We control them all. He goes on to outline a strategy that is nearly identical to what allies of the former president, like John Eastman and Rudy Giuliani and Jeffrey Clark, actually attempted to carry out in the months that followed. He talks about filing lawsuits and advocating recounts to prevent certain swing states from certifying the results, as well as having a handful of Republican state houses put forward slates of fake Trump electors. If all that failed, Republican lawmakers in Congress could simply vote to reinstall Trump as president on January 6th. Quote, Republicans control 28 steps, states, Democrats, 22 states. Once again, Trump wins. We either have a vote we control and we win, or it gets kicked to Congress January 6th, 2021. We have operational control, total leverage, moral high ground. POTUS must start second term now. Wow, they just wrote it all down, didn't they? So the ex-president's son was stirring up plans for overturning the election, building the case of the insurrection, before all the votes were even counted, before it was called. And in the following days and weeks, Trump and his allies continued exactly that plan, inciting what happened on January 6th. For example, one of the members of the mob confirmed that in his interview with the FBI. QAnon follower Douglas Jensen, seen here on January 6th, told the FBI that he was influenced by the ex-president's lawyers. I quote him here, Lynn Wood got me fired up. Sidney Powell got me fired up. Rudy Giuliani got me fired up. Yeah, they were firing people up.